This video is brought to you by Storyblocks Video. You let in the clout, Lorenzo, so you clean up the mess. And you can help, Janik. Lorenzo, why did you let in a clout? Why did you open the door? Come on, look how wet it is right now. Ugh. What's up, everyone? It's Janik here for Cinecom.net, and welcome to another Copycat Friday a series where we recreate effects from famous movies and music videos. And today we are looking at this amazing effect from the new music video Rainy Days by Boogie featuring Eminem. Here you can see a small cloud hanging above Boogie and Eminem while raining on top of them. And believe it or not, we'll be creating this effect completely in Premiere Pro without extra plugins or going to Afro Effects. But before we can jump into Premiere Pro, I would first like to jump into our sponsor, Storyblocks Video. This is a complete library for every creative filmmaker and is super simple to use. With only a single price per year, you can download unlimited assets going from high quality stock clips, transition, effects, templates and so much more. We use Storyblocks video almost daily in our projects, just like some of the biggest TV channels in the world. Start browsing throughout the library of Storyblocks video and make sure to click in the first link in the description below. Now of course we need some footage. Creating me and the entire set entirely in 3D would be very hard. And I want to save you the trouble. So let's start with building a very cool set. Welcome to the set! You know, with Cinecom, we don't only recreate effects, but also the sets. And that even rhymes. Anyways, we got a bunch of very cool YouTube channels here on the wall. You probably forgot a bunch. Anyways, maybe your channel is on the wall. Just pause the video and, you know, see if yours on it. Anyways, uh, we recreated the set from Rainy Days by Boogie, featuring Eminem. And I think we kind of nailed it when it comes down to the look and feel. Now, of course, you don't need to recreate this set. For us, it was just a ton of fun to do so. Now, what they have done in their music video as well was add a fluorescent tube right here. This is gonna make sure that we have a very nice uh, gradient light cast onto the wall. It's also going to function as a backlight for when I'm standing over there. However, this light is not strong enough, so that's why we added an extra LED panel there on top, which is, which is the Aperture LS1. And Jenning over there, he has a remote to make that light flicker, and that way we can kind of mimic the thunder coming out of the cloud that will hang actually in front of this light tube. But the heart of the entire set sits right here. It's a fire hose that we've attached to our truss ceiling, and there is going to come water out of it. Now for most, it's going to be easier to just throw a hose over a branch in your garden and have your uh, hose hang from there, but it is going to be necessary that you do this with a practical effect, because recreating rain or waterfall in post-production is not easy. I mean, letting water fall is quite okay, but having it fall on a umbrella and kind of roll off from there, that is a tricky part. So a practical effect is definitely going to be the easier way and most realistic way to go for. Now, before you are going to take your shot, important is to take out your tripod because you want to make a static shot, else it's going to be really hard to add that cloud in there because we can't really do camera tracking in Premiere Pro. So yeah, tripod. All right, we got all of our shots. We can now jump into Premiere Pro to create our cloud. Now guys, this is a visual effects which is actually done inside Adobe After Effects. Uh, but you know, it's just fun to do it in Premiere as well. It is possible. However, if you do would like to learn Adobe After Effects, then I invite you to our brand new Adobe After Effects class for beginners. It is hosted on Skillshare, which kind of works the same as the Netflix principle. You pay a monthly fee, and with that, you get access to all of the classes on the platform. Plus, if you follow our unique exclusive link in the description below, you can actually get your first two months completely for free. So definitely make sure to check that out. Our After Effects course have been getting tremendously great reviews. Definitely worth to check out, guys. Now, Janik, you can take over and create that cloud. Pogo stick. <laughs> Why did I have to do that? That's what you get for using a thingy for pogo stick. 
Never use an F tracker for <laughs> for a pogo stick. Okay, Jordi. Hmm. Anyways, now that we have our shot, it's time to bring it to Premiere Pro. Drag the shot to track number one. Inside the project panel, you can then create an adjustment layer. This adjustment layer is going to be used for creating the cloud. Drag the adjustment layer into your sequence and on track number three. Now go to the effects library and look for the VR fractal noise. Grab the effect and apply it to your adjustment layer. Once this is done, you can go into the effects control panel and start making the cloud. The first thing we need to do is adjust the contrast and set it to around 300. Next, set the brightness to 30, the complexity to 10 and the evolution to minus 130. Now open up the transform property of the effect and set the tilt to 70 degrees, the pan to 50, the roll to 10 and the scale to 26. After you have done all this, you are getting cloud-like shapes. However, these clouds don't really move and movement really helps selling the effect. But you can easily give the clouds some movement by animating the scale from 26 to 38. Okay, now that we have moving clouds, it's time to make them into dark rain clouds. For this, you need to go back to the effect library and search for the tint effect. Drag it to the adjustment layer and go to the effects control panel. Here you can set the matte black setting to the color white and the matte white setting to the color black. I know it's strange because now you get a small white cloud. But if you go back to the fractal noise effect and check the invert box, you now have created a thick black cloud shape. But this cloud is a little bit too big, so let's scale it down a bit. When you use the motion properties, the adjustment layer will do something strange and won't really work. That's why I'm going to add the transform effect. With this effect, you can scale and move the cloud wherever you want in your frame. And of course, we are going to place the cloud above the subject. Now let's continue by taking the pen mask tool from the opacity properties and create a small mask around your cloud. This can be very rough and random, just like a real cloud. Next, set the blend mode to multiply and the opacity to 85. Also, don't forget to feather the mask a bunch. If you're still following along, your cloud will be already as awesome as this one right here. However, we're not satisfied yet and want some more depth in the cloud. That's why we're adding a thinner and more light cloud above the dark one. Start by placing another adjustment layer on track number 4. And again, drag the fractal noise effect to it. Then go ahead and change the settings. Set the contrast to 120, the complexity to 3, the evolution to 65 and the scale to 4. This scale is again going to be animated and you can let it change over time to 4.5. A small and subtle change. Next, go to the opacity property and create a mask over your dark cloud. Again, feather it a bunch, this time you can go up to 200. For the blend mode, you can choose the screen option. This will only show the lighter parts of the cloud. Last thing you now need to do is set the opacity to 40%. Now you already have a cool cloud with some depth in it. The very last thing I now want to do is give the cloud an edge glow. I want to do this because we placed a light in our setup and that's right behind the cloud. This means that the cloud has a backlight and needs a little edge. This you can do by simply duplicating the last cloud we made and placing it on track number 2, underneath the previous two clouds. If you want, you can now increase or decrease the opacity of that duplicate cloud. It completely depends on how much edge light you want. You can even change the mask if you want. And that's really all there is to it for making this very cool cloud completely in Premiere Pro. Super simple, right? Lorenzo forgot to close the window. Again. Damn you, Lorenzo. Now a cloud got in. Always the same, Lorenzo. Always the same. Lorenzo. Mm. And that was it for today, guys. I hope you learned a lot. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you Storyblocks for the support, and like always, stay creative. Woo! Good job, Janet! It would have been so stupid to just clean up this plastic. And it's even a more stupid idea to put all of soap on it and to slide on it. I like it!